It's Saturday. It's August 5th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri in for Dave Aguilera this weekend. Uh, well, we did have some rough weather in parts of Colorado earlier today. This afternoon, one tornado touched down in El Paso County. This is uh, south of Monument, north of Colorado Springs, right there near I-25. No reports as of yet of any kind of significant damage. And then there were multiple funnel clouds that were spotted in northern El Paso County around the Black Forest area. And then everywhere you see a blue dot, that's where there was hail at least one inch in diameter. So Colorado Springs in that general area down south really getting hit hard with some severe weather today. Luckily, nothing like that for those of us here in the Denver metro area. What's left of thunderstorm activity on the plains late today is going to be moving east pretty quick. Tomorrow morning will be dry statewide, probably start the day with at least a few clouds. And then those clouds will get thicker later in the day. After about 2 p.m., chance for a shower or thunderstorm. So we have Viva Streets downtown Denver tomorrow. That's from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m., the final one of the summer. And I think the weather's going to cooperate with those thunderstorms rolling in after the 2 o'clock hour. Later in the day, there's 4 p.m. You can see some storms up along I-70 in the mountains and storms in the metro area possibly around that time. And then everything will wrap up shortly after sunset on Sunday. And then our chance for thunderstorms is going to get smaller and smaller going into next week. There is a summer cold front in Wyoming here late on this Saturday. That front will roll through the metro area tonight behind the front. Highs only in the 70s tomorrow. That's right, 70s. That's uh, cold front is going to shift the weather pattern a little bit. Storm track is going to stay north of Colorado uh, for much of the upcoming week. So we may still have a few late day showers or storms Monday, maybe Tuesday, but by the middle of the end of the week, much drier weather, including in the high country. Uh, and it's been a while since we've said no chance for storms, but it's looking pretty close to that uh, by Thursday and Friday. Maybe a 10% chance that would be it. So temperatures tomorrow noticeably cooler, highs in the mid 70s. Uh, we'll still be quite warm out west, and therefore red flag warnings tomorrow noon until 9 p.m. Grand Junction, Delta, Montrose, down into the San Juans and the San Luis Valley as well. Gusty winds, low humidity keeps the fire danger high in the uh, southwest and western portions of the state. Here's Monday. Uh, it's August, so uh, we're going to start warming back up a little bit, but we'll stay below normal. High temperature right around 80 or so on Monday. We'll leave in a 40% chance for late-day thunderstorms. Drop that chance to 30% on Tuesday and only a 10% chance on Wednesday. And then it's been a while, but we're going to do it Thursday and Friday. We've taken the chance for thunderstorms completely out. Again, we may have to drop back in a 10% chance for a stray storm. It is August, but for now it looks dry enough. We're going to keep the chances out of the forecast and then a 20% chance for thunderstorms next weekend.